Okay, today I'm, I'm talking about how to use um, Arduino on the new Atmos Studio 7. It's quite simple, it's not as complicated as uh, Atmos Studio 6 where I have to do a lot of configurations. So, what I'm just going to do here is just how to open Arduino, um, which um, you already have installed and you're going to have a set up on your loop function set up. The next thing you're just going to have to do is um, save the save the project you're doing um, to anywhere you want to and I'm going to save this on my desktop I'll call this one blank blank and I'm going to save that this should create a folder on my desktop and we should have blank okay so we can see it here you don't need to put anything here once it's done you can just close this and the next you're going to do is you're going to open up your at most to do seven and you just wait for this to fire up it takes a while uh, I know but probably I need to upgrade my computer for to meet up to standards um, I'm still running on high three Maybe I just need to shift up to an i7. Okay, alright. So, we should have this guy coming up in a moment from now. Okay, alright. So, just go to new project and we choose um, create project from an Arduino sketch. So, we choose that one and we can put it a name. Let's call this one um, Web Test. I'm not doing anything there. And you're going to choose your board using Arduino Uno, Meg, um, the processor type. Just leave the path as it is, um, it's going to detect that. And the next is you're going to um, locate a sketch file. That it's going to become more of like a template file now. So I'll go to desktop and I'm going to look for blank. Uh, we have blank there and just open it and then it's just OK. Right. This is now going to create um, the file for you. It's still going to use the same name as web test. Um, so the web test is, is what you have there. It's just going to import uh, the files from the Arduino into the project, and then from there you can write your code with Atmos 7. Basically, nothing changes. It's just the same Arduino um, functions we are all used to, and that is it. So basically, this is what you have in there. You copy everything in here. You can go ahead and build it, and then uh, let's see what we get with errors. 